This is Nathan at Cartronics, and this is Audio Corner for this week. A lot of customers come in and ask what type of DSP they need for their particular vehicle, so we want to do a short video to kind of explain the different DSP features that are needed for different situations. So starting off, there's kind of two things that you need a DSP for in a vehicle. Uh, the first one is to correct and address the OEM equalization that may or may not be present in the car. If a vehicle has an upgraded audio system like a Bose or something like that, there may be a product available to just bypass that system called like a preamp interface. Um, and it will just give you perfect signal straight out of the radio through that device without having to go into the Bose amplifier where all that equalization is added by the manufacturer of the vehicle. In that case, you don't really need anything to correct the OEM audio system. But some of the base audio systems, which is kind of counterintuitive, there's no way to bypass it because it's built into the actual radio. So in Chevrolet trucks, for instance, that don't have Bose, that signal needs to be corrected. Some manufacturers, uh, like JL, actually create two different DSPs for this. You've got the, your fixed device, which, as the name implies, corrects the OEM audio signal uh, for the most part, and then the tweak device, which is used for the second function of DSP in a car, which is to correct the audio that the speaker is playing for the acoustical environment. In a car, it's a very reflective environment because of all the windows, so some frequencies are enhanced by those reflections, some are canceled out by those reflections, so a DSP allows you to fine tune and adjust each speaker for that location in the car to give the best frequency response at the listening position where, where your ears will be. That's kind of the two functions. JL does it in two different pieces because not all vehicles need both. But some of the other manufacturers address it a little bit different way and have it all in one. Uh, Audison for one is one that I love. The Bit1 HD Virtuoso uh, has all of the tools you need to, to be able to de-equalize the factory head unit and uh, tune up to 14 channels out, uh, I believe, on that one. They also have an amplifier that has their new Forza bit drive software in it, which allows you to de-equalize, and this is the amplifier for the system. So this is a very popular option that a lot of people choose to go with now because it's more compact, less devices in the car. The only limitation of doing an amplifier with a DSP all-in-one is you're limited on the amount of power. With its small form factor, it can only do so much, but this is a very popular option to get great sound for your everyday listening vehicle. The more advanced systems that we do, we'll use either the Moscone Aerospace 8-12 to uh, or the Bit1 HD Virtuoso and separate amplifiers. That way we're able to apply the power needed for every speaker in the vehicle. My personal favorite is the Moscone Aerospace 8-12 to and that is because of uh, Barney, our tuning apparatus that is provided specifically for Moscone processors that is basically shaped like a head and you put it in the driver's seat where your head would be and it can automatically take measurements and tune the system for you and it does it better than a human can do for the most part as long as it was installed properly and set up correctly. Uh, there's several different DSPs that we offer here, kind of the situations that you'll need them and my personal favorite again being the Moscone Aerospace 8-12 to with the Barney tune. So, if you'd like to have that done, come to any of our Cartronics locations or go to cartronics.audio and we have all these products available and experts standing by to get you set up for your vehicle. Okay, so how do I start it? I say this is Nathan hey, at Cartronics. Hey, Nathan's audio corner. Uh, sometimes they keep me in a basement. Cartronics audio corner. I'm Nathan, your host. They pulled me out of the office by my ears to do this. <laughs>